units, level four mobilization. Location, Fisk Tower. Fisk? Take him down yet? No. We're at Fisk Tower, but still waiting on the warrant. Mind if I join in on the fun? You know how his lawyers are. This one needs to go by the book. Come on, Yuri. I've been waiting eight years for this. You really want to help? Head to Times Square. Sounds like his guys are trying to keep my backup from reaching the scene. You got it. Almost there. this up quick then get to my real job. in the hammer. Fresh cup of bodily harm. has a lot of guys on his payroll.
done here. You? We're about to go in. Be there soon. Can't wait to see Willie's face when you slap the cuffs on him. Almost done here. You? We're about to go in. Be there soon. Can't wait to see Willie's face when you slap the cuffs on us. Okay, Yuri. All done. What's happening? Yuri? Yuri! I knew Fisk wouldn't go quietly. out of that building we're gonna lose him i'm gonna go uh do your thing yes he's the day willie heads up hey where are you going Sorry to break it to you, but you do not got this, buddy. Oh, thanks for the confidence boost, guys. I guess this is what they call a hostile work.
anybody. I mean... Yeah, because I feel like, like I said, the people they've switched and now they're making them all the younger characters, they did a really good job with all of them, you know what I mean? Because they transitioned well, like we don't really miss any of them, you know what I mean? Well... But it's like, the traditional characters that we're used to, like Storm being played by Halle Berry, I actually like the one they picked for with Ale Alexandria Ship. I think she she, she was how Halle Berry should have been because yeah, she yeah. actually is African. She actually is you know what I mean, like the character that they originally had in the comics, where she was supposed to be like, black panther. Down, like, down, down. Like, like that character is the story about her, but we're all used to Halle Berry playing her. You know I mean? But I haven't even really noticed it not being Halle Berry. I don't know why. Just like oh, I like her. Like, even with, uh, Beast, like, Alex Beast, I was like... Yeah. They could never get Beast right, though. Yeah, I like the one, I like the character that they have played Beast, though. Uh, is that the one we saw in Deadpool 2? The same guy? Remember that did this little, quick little cameo where all the uh, X-Men showed? Yeah. That was the same the Beast, with right? with the glasses? Yeah. Yeah, he's the one that's played it in the last, like, four or five movies. Right. Yeah, I was like, and then they did good switching, like, Professor X, Magneto, you know what I mean? And then um, now that they're... Well, I'm, I'm going to have to stop you on that. Oh, you don't like the ones they have in there? I don't like, I think, Charles, uh, what's his name? Xavier? No, the dude from Star Trek. Yeah, Captain Picard. Oh, you're talking about, uh, what's his name, Patrick Stewart? Patrick Stewart. He, to me, he's the only fucking, um... Only Professor X and dude from uh, Gandalf. Gandalf from uh, Lord of the Rings plays Magneto. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, that's how Magneto looks. If I show you, like, the comic books, they have that guy down to the T. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, I hate the fact, like, if you pull up Magneto on your phone and you see his costume and then you go look at, you go look at their costumes or t uh, in the movie theaters, you be like, it's nowhere near close. Like his Magneto looks fucking dope, and I wish yeah, they. I don't think I don't think I was per se maybe talking so much about their costumes because I feel like you have more of the idea of their costumes in your head because you actually watch the cartoons, yeah. you like the comics. Yeah. You know what I mean, like I didn't really know about like X Men. Yeah, I didn't know about X Men really till the movies started rolling out. Like yeah, I knew right. obviously who they were as kids, but I was like I didn't really like pay any attention to it. But the thing I liked about when they switched uh, Magneto was that they actually started actually telling his story. Yeah. I was like, in the dude that plays Michael Fassbender, like, he's just a really good man, you know, he yeah. shows the, the struggle he has with the people and, like, you know, the pain that they all came from. You know what I mean? So how do you feel about come on, come on. Uh, the new Mystique? Do you like the one that was in Victoria's Secret? They shut the Mystique elevators down. The Take the stairs. I feel like Jennifer Lawrence stopped right in. I don't feel like I prefer Rebecca a more direct Romain approach. Is being missed at all. No, I feel like she stepped in and did a really good job. I feel like the chick who was playing Rogue did a good job. Spider-Man, status. Heading to the upper floors and hoping floor nobody floor. turns on the elevators. Yeah. Our choppers are taking fire. Looks like Fisk has armed men on every floor. They just need to go he's ahead. desperate. And he's hitting us with everything he's got. They're coming up. I have to find him. Oh, no, not Rogue. Well, yeah, Phoenix. That's, that's what I'm talking about. I like the vision. Not yet. We just yeah. picked up chatter. There was some data for this. We need that evidence like, if we I want to like put him away for good. I do like the okay, server room it is. Dope, Call from May. Like Better answer. Like, you know, uh, hi, Aunt May. No way, Next door up. Watching a superhero like, movie. Uh, What's up? Like, I just want to make sure we're still on the dinner party. Totally. You know, it's a story. Yeah, I gotta go. Because she, she loves you. Okay. Yeah, because she loves you. Love you too. Phoenix ain't got no love. <laughs> sure. Phoenix right. is the only obsessed with power. Because she knows she's better than everybody. Yeah, you know it's going to be fucked up. He is what she's better, you know, human. She knows what's fucked up, right? You can't watch, you can't have a piece without uh, the side block. Right? I thought it was a little green, was it? Yeah, it's not possible. Yeah, but if you're following the story of how they've been doing the movies, she didn't meet she didn't meet Wolverine until she was an adult. This one, she's still a kid. Yeah, Wolverine's been that's what I'm trying to tell her about. Wolverine's been around since Jean was a kid. Wolverine never aged. He was like in fucking what, nineteen forty two? And he was in war. 
you seen him in the movie, yeah. uh, uh, X-Men Origins, mm-hmm. when he fought Deadpool. Yeah. It's like, he was in the war and all that shit, and it's just like... Several wars. Several <laughs> wars, like, like, you know, decades of wars, and I'm just like, okay, well, that's the time when Gene was a kid. If you want to, if you want to get technical, I'm not saying you, but I'm just saying like in the story and then like you know. Yeah, kind but of you people. see how they bounced it back. Like he, they they did all of his story, but then they went back and introduced Jean. Jean wasn't in the original stuff. She was an adult, remember? Yeah, but what makes what, okay? She so, didn't know Wolverine yet. But that's, see, that's that's my argument though, because it's like you're going that far back. You're not gonna have Wolverine. You're barely gonna bring in Professor X. So you mean to tell me Professor X was born in 1942, don't age at all, and then all of a sudden you want to kill him off? Like, here we are, you know, future-wise and shit, like, what's happening? That's what I'm saying, like, that's where they fucked up making all these movies, like, when they keep changing directors, they keep Hold changing Hold them so we can't stories, jump around. How exactly do you think this is well for you? Because yeah. if what you're talking about is true, like, because they did do it in a movie when they went to find Gene, remember? Regret your life choices yet? She, he brought Professor, Professor X and, uh, and they went to go find Gene. There you go, but baby. Wolverine was not in that movie. <laughs> Wolverine, but, that, but you see yeah, where I'm Wolverine getting at, though, right? Wolverine was not introduced until she was an adult. But you see where I'm getting at, right? Yeah. That's, you can't do that. Mm-hmm. Because if you're going to do it, you need to have everybody there. Mm-hmm. Wolverine was still a fucking adult, and he still looked he looked after Gene like he was looking after X-22. Mm-hmm. Which they fucked up X-22 because X-22 was 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 basically a bottle a bottle of uh, of uh, Logan. Mm-hmm. Really, he was a bo- she was a bottle of Logan's uh, DNA. Yeah. Wasn't fucking. A, she was. He didn't like fucking go have sex with somebody. It's like, oh, that's your child, like they did in Logan. That's fucked up. You can't do that. You have to tell the story. Well, no, they 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 did that in Logan. They didn't what? say that it was his his kid per se. Like as far as. Because uh, Professor X explained it to him in the car, remember? They were driving. Thought, okay, when well, we watched like, it, when uh, we watched it, right? Yeah. Is that why I fell asleep at? When, Probably. When she, they were like, oh, he found a letter and it's saying that, oh, this is your child and all this shit like that. Remember? No, it was, uh, they were driving in a car. Remember he took him out of the silo because yeah. they had just gotten attacked and then the little girl snuck was in the car. Was that when Vision was there? Was, Vi- was that yeah, Vision? Yeah, he was still there. Okay. So Vision was with Wolverine at yep. the time. And Before then that's got when they got, they got attacked, right? Mm-hmm. And then that's when X-22... Because remember, he could sense the girl because of Logan. That's yeah. how he knew she was there. Okay. Yeah. I was like, but when they were driving away, because Vision stayed, remember? When they were driving away, yeah. Xavier tried to explain it to Wolverine. Like, basically, yes, she's your daughter, but then he told her that, obviously, she would, he said that she was made the same way he was. Right. You know what I mean? So they just used parts of him, but he, he's like, you have to look after her. Like, she's your daughter. You know what I mean? But, yeah, but then he explained, obviously, like, she was made how he was made. Right. That's bullshit, because you, if you want to get technical, uh, X-22 is a weapon to destroy a war. Well, destroy a war. Yeah. yeah. But that's the thing, remember they made the X-22 in the movie, remember? There was yeah, another they one. It. She yeah, was, they She was almost like no, 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 dope. No, remember there was another guy that looked exactly like Wolverine. We're not talking about the Chinese girl, right? With the fucking, uh... She oh, had no, the no, needles no, no. and shit, they fucked her up. Yeah, yeah. no, that's, yeah, I know which one you're talking yeah, about. No, was like, if you're talking fuck? about Logan, that girl, that Chinese girl wasn't in Logan. No. Just that little girl was. Yeah, but the Chinese yeah. girl was in, uh, what you call it, X-Men Origin. Yeah. And I was like, yo, you fucked up Deadpool, you fucked up X-22, you know Yeah, because remember, that's how they were trying to make it seem, is that basically they had his DNA now, so they put it in Deadpool, they put it in that chick, they... You know what I mean? Because they yeah. still have the Enzymentium at that point. Well, they did, right, by by explaining about Deadpool, like, as far as having it, having yeah. Wolverine's, um, you know, uh, uh, DNA and yeah, shit. Yeah, because remember in that yeah, movie where he was before, supposedly no evidence, Deadpool, like. before he was Deadpool, yeah. you know, got reinvented. Right. Remember, he had the blades come out of his hand. He yeah. had those fucking, really cool. Japanese swords, yeah. like, come out of his hands. Yeah. He, didn't, he wasn't fucking using the swords. Right. They were literally coming out of his hands like Logan's claws. But you saw what you saw, you saw saw what, what Deadpool 2, what he did to that Deadpool, because mm-hmm. he's like, no, that's not the right one. Yeah. So he shot him. But remember, that's but why I told you yeah, why I was arguing with that, yeah. I was, I was like, that. no, I was like, that nigga was Deadpool at the end of that movie. Like, yeah. they literally made him Deadpool. And right. then they switched up the whole character. Because they fucked it up. And then they made it more of like the the cartoon version of Deadpool. Yeah, the comic books. Like, like, yeah, I was like, I thought it was kind of cool that they made him a human being. You know what I mean? 
I was like That's Wade Wilson Wade Wilson Yeah like 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 I showed you the comment was before. Wade Wilson was diagnosed with cancer. He was in a war like Wolverine yeah. in Canada. That Deadpool we saw in X Men Origin mm -hmm. never existed really. Mm -hmm. Never. They yeah. well technically it did, but it was a weapon to kill De uh, Wolverine. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't Wade Wilson. Yeah. That's where that's where everybody they had, they had fucked up having it be the same person. Exactly, like they, they you can't do that. You they can't should do... recast the character, but then they were like, "No, we like him as Deadpool, so yeah. we'll just erase all that shit in that movie and actually make him Deadpool." Right, because <laughs> they're like, because they're trying to say, "Oh, you know, that's why they sealed his mouth because he talked too much." He talked too much. Mm -hmm. Okay, but then you're taking you're taking the the image of Deadpool for us, you know. Mm -hmm. Here we comic book fans. And fucking it up. Yeah. You don't do that. Just mm -hmm. leave him alone. Leave, yeah. Right. He 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 signed a deal to make this movie to be this Deadpool because he because they fucked up Green Lantern. Mm -hmm. He hated Green Lantern. Yeah. He thinks that that character was like just bullshit. Yeah. He said the only thing that was good is he met his wife. Yeah. He said that was the only thing that was good about that movie. Right. He met his wife. And it's just like he'll never like. I don't know, I man. This way, like, destroy uh, all the evidence. Disney has announced, I think, one more Deadpool. I'm looking for a sneaky way in. And then uh, Disney's coming out, uh, but they're not going to touch. They're not touching the Deadpool franchise anymore because they don't want it to. They don't want to tarnish. You know, they don't want to have that vision. You know, kids saying Disney is rated R, mm -hmm. so they're allowing another company to take over the rated R stuff for movies and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That Disney, you know, um, like Star Wars and fucking Deadpool and shit like that. Yeah. So. It's like, you know, what are you gonna do? Is Disney taking over Fox? So, because like you know, Fox still owns X Men. So well, just, that's the thing is like the private ventures. Because if you know they're trying to make this a rated R movie, because like you said, even it's though it wasn't rated it's R, it should have kind of been because there was some very what? suggestive, Can't make you know, crazy things in the movie. Yeah. I was like, but I was like, at some point. Even though, like he says, he'll never be an X Men because of you know their beliefs and standards and shit. I was like, don't you think it's something like they should so have him come into the movie? They need to bring him there. Because you see now, he's actually got them in the, on his corner. In his corner, you know what I'm saying? He's cool with classes. He's cool I forgot with, you know, my password. a couple of characters. I was like, but at the same time. I was like, you should at some point cross over into X-Men. Yeah, of course. You know, yeah, like, if they're going to stop making his movies, then they should have to be X-Men for a while. Uh, we're an Avenger movie. We can do that. I don't know if they'd ever do that. Captain America is the thing that keeps it all PG. Because, he, you know, he talks to people about, like, oh, you shouldn't swear. Oh, you shouldn't this. Oh, you shouldn't that. So once he leaves, you know what I mean? Because you see, his, you see his character changing. Like, he's becoming harder. He's becoming, you know, like, actually affected by all the shit he's been doing. You know what I mean? Instead of him being, like, the hopeful guy. <laughs> you know? You see him changing. So I feel like once he gets kill off his character, like, they can start moving into a different direction. Because fucking, um... If they let the Hulk really do what the Hulk oh, does... Already, yeah, I was reading an article about that. They're already, they're already keeping him around. Yeah, Brett Russell will go for it. Yeah, because everybody loves him. Everybody knows the Hulk is a shit. They just need to go ahead and just let this man do his fucking thing. But you know they're going to get into, uh... Uh, the Hulk movie where it's, it's it fucks up the camera. Come on, hit him! He's gonna, he goes crazy. 
Says the guy frantically erasing his search history. Clear across the ocean. His legs are left here. And they uh and they ship him to planet Hulk. That's part of my charm, isn't it? If they end it like that, where after he destroys everybody, and then they bring another one where they send him, they send they somehow they capture him or whatever. And uh they capture him and send him to planet Hulk. And he comes back with other Hulks, like She-Hulk, Red Hulk, and all that shit, because there was a Red Hulk in fucking, you were telling me, and uh, that movie with Thor, Ragnarok. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, so there's a Red Hulk. Well, that's what, because when Hulk I was reading that, like that article the other day about what they're, like, basically it was talking about the end of Avengers, and then basically, like, the storylines that could possibly happen from it, because they were talking about what the, kind of what we're talking about is, with Deadpool is the glitch in the system, you know, um, they said that that's what should have happened too with Hulk because they said that Hulk, uh, the fact that, um, you know, he got sent out into space, they said he was gone for like, like a, a, a really long time, like centuries, like he shouldn't have been involved in any of the stuff going on because that's actually how he ended up in Red Rock. You know what I mean? So, they said he should have been gone for centuries. Like, he shouldn't have been there. there. Yeah. I was like, in bed, when he was out in space, is when he went to the butcher for the same Hulk. Get ready for the main event. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but Hulk, then he should have came back to the Avengers. Right. They said the story by got thrown off because they said when he went on into space, like, he was gone gone. Like, yeah. they could not get a hold of him. Right. He should never been a Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm saying. So they said the storyline should have changed because they said technically the Hulk had been gone. Like he was not around to be in the Avengers. So they're like, that's what they're thinking is that they're going to like basically end the Avengers and then start some of the other storylines, especially with Hulk, because Hulk is the only one right now that they're announcing is still going to be around. Right. So you know your shit. Because I was, uh, Mark Ruffalo was talking about, like, well, I can't really say anything, but, and then it was like, yeah, so the next couple of stories will be about the Hulk. <laughs> so they're actually gonna, like, you know, X-Men jump back and forth, and then start actually telling the story of the Hulk, like, how his, his shit should really be. Because you see, it took them, like, three or four Hulks just to so get this character right. Right. Because even though they did the first movie, The Hulk, where he fought the other other guy, mm -hmm. the very first one, I guess he's like man out of rock or some shit. Yeah. That movie was okay, but it kind of sucked. Was that the one with Edward Norton? I believe so. I the that's first the one I liked. The first Hulk. Mm -hmm. And then the one that. Oh well, no, that was uh, Banna, that Banna chick. Or Banna dude. Eric Banna. I liked the one with Edward Norton. And I know a lot of people didn't like that one, but yeah. I liked it. <laughs> and then the second, they came out with the second Hulk, and it just, it bombed. Yeah, it bombed I, so I think bad. that's the one I liked. I liked that one better than the first one. But that's when you saw the God is in Avengers play that Hulk. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Well, Bruce Banner. He's not fucking the Hulk. He's yeah. Bruce Banner. Well, no, there was, there, was, there was two Hulks before that guy played him. Yeah. So it was Eric Bana, the dude with the brown hair in the first one, and then Edward Norton, the dude who's in Fight Club, he played the second one. Right. I was like, because uh, I remember Liv Tyler. You know, an explosion and just... And I then, then it went into Mark Wilson. I'm sitting in a bomb unit. That's where everybody We'll make sure no one gets in their way. He fit Bruce Banner pretty well, but I, I like him. the one you're talking about, too. Kill us. Fight Club? Yeah. Yeah, he did good. I, I like that one. Like the fireworks? We got more just where like, that came from. I was like, but I think the thing that... The thing that didn't work with the second one is everybody likes that they have people that match Stark's smartness. So they, you know, had the Hulk who was also super fucking smart, you know, in his field. And then they introduced the chick from um, Black Panther who's smarter than both of them. Yeah. 
And Black Panther's richer than Tony Stark. Keep it 100. Yeah, he's rich as well. But I'm just saying, like, as far as them having scientists in the movie, because that's, hey that's what didn't work in Edward Norton's movie. Because bombs are part of Willie's getaway plan. It didn't happen really be like, a smart dude. It was more about, you know, his fight. Yeah, his, his, his fight of being the Hulk. Yeah. I was like, so I think that's why everybody likes Mark Ruffalo's character because they see that he, you know, can play the smart dude that's actually, you know, hang on, let's you know, start. Let's start. Yeah, they they complement each other. I was like, and then he can also be the Hulk, but he brings humor that the other two didn't. Because if you're going to be messing with, you know, Stark, you need to be funny. You know, that there needs to be that banter between the two of them, like the smart banter. You know what I mean? Because Tony Stark's the smart ass. Because they said that, you see when they killed off all the characters at the end of Avengers, uh, they did keep all the scientists. So Stark's still alive, Hulk's still alive, and the chick from Black Panther. Uh. What's your name, Suri? Because that's the only way they're actually going to be able to solve this. You actually need to keep the fucking sign of the sign people around. And then, as you, I don't know if you watched the trailer, they have uh, the scientist that invented all of Ant-Man's stuff. Mm -hmm. Ant-Man's stuff. That's why he's coming. Okay, well, yeah. coming your so way. They're, they're keeping Doctor Strange. They're keeping, they're keeping uh, Tony Stark. They're keeping the, the scientists from Black Panther. Uh, they're keeping... Because they have to figure out how to be able to go back in time. Well, keep in mind... I was well, I was gonna show you something, but I wanted to watch it with you so we could both watch it and see it for the first time. There's like this thing called Ten Things You Gotta Remember before you know about the Avengers movie. I seen it. I was gonna click on it, but I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna wait, wait for Ashley, so me and Ashley can watch it because I guess they have a, a important part with Vision, mm -hmm. Vision's part, even though Vision is dead. But, but, but Vision was never technically a thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? He was always an entity. Spider Man wasn't like he had a body. How are we doing, Captain? Right. <laughs> Could be better. Because that's what. I think I, maybe I've watched it because I think I know what you're talking about. Was it online? Yeah. Okay, I think I watched it. Because they were talking about the show. They showed the staff. Why do I get the feeling that's what he was planning all along? I guess he probably was. But he was just like a cover up. I don't know if you've seen it. No, I was like, I was watching one though, but it was talking about how. Basically, everybody thinks Vision is dead, but Vision He's never possessed a body. Right. They were just—he was just put into the AI. You know what I mean? Was good. Was good. Was exactly, they said that he was actually the brain of Tony, all of Tony Stark's system. Thank you. You know what I mean? So they're like, if Tony Stark is gone, but Give still has—you know what I mean? But still oh, has goodness. his lab See? and everything. You know what I mean? They said Vision can never be gone because right. he was never physically a being. Quote unquote, there's no Jarvis, is yeah. Vision in uh -huh. Tony Stark's outfit. Yeah. If you want to get technical in the comic books, uh -huh. it was it was Vision. He would always say, Vision, what's going on mm -hmm. in the comic books? Yeah. Yeah, um, Wes, what's his name? Paul Bentley? That's the dude that plays uh, Vision. Oh he, my god, my. You're not even a fucking comic book person, you like, understand it. Yeah, Jesus. But, yeah, but that's what they were saying. They're like, I don't know why everybody was so upset about that. They're like, all they did was kill the AI. They're like, Vision has always been an entity. He's been the, 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 the hub of Tony Stark's system. Because even in the first movie that they started with the uh, with Iron Man, you could hear his voice. He was Vision. literally always Vision. Vision. And then they, all of a sudden they came in. Part two came, I think two or three came out, and then that's when he went to Jarvis. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Trying to cover it up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of things they tried well, to cover They tried to make it Vision because of the fact that, remember, they had the two, the AI and the and Vision, or Jarvis, when they came together, they thought it was attacking the thing, but then all of a sudden it just became Vision. Right. So that's what they're trying to say, is that they smart, tried to make it, they tried to make it two different things. And technically, it was always vision. Hello. That's enough out of you. That's not that More rockets? Blue yeah, assassins, don't you think? Like mine, I was talking about that, like 10 things you missed from uh, Avengers and Infinity War. Yeah, of course. Uh, you gotta go, if you wanna get technical, you something? have to go back to all the stories. Because they, that's how they were talking about where Ant Man comes in. Because I guess in the new trailer, there's a, a, a video of him showing up at the Avengers yeah, um, in, in a running. van. Yeah. But what me and you didn't know, because we didn't watch Ant-Man, that in his van, he has basically like a black hole in the back. Yeah. Like 
they made a some kind of machine uh -huh. that basically like obviously he's traveling through time during it. But the thing is, it's like Ant Man was never identical. That's what I'm trying to yeah, they, they just fucked it up. Why are you bringing Ant Man into it? Because they made Ant Man and the Wasp, and I don't remember shit about either of those movies because I didn't watch either of them. They suck. Yeah, I was like, but they said that's why they kept him in the story because technically he is going to be the key because his scientist, the guy, Mike, was Michael Douglas, I think, yeah. who played his scientist, yeah. and Michelle Pfeiffer, they're a husband and wife team. Right. Um, and then Wasp was actually their daughter, apparently. So. They created a machine because they literally were trying to go back in time to fix stuff. So he already had a time machine guys get through this. a black hole in the back of that fucking van. So that's the only reason they kept him in. They had to write they had to write a story that Settle made sense down. for them to even have a way to go back in time. I think Ant Man is fucking I mean, I think he's kind of cool, because I was like, I like the fact that he's really big and then really small. Yeah, because he's the only one that can do that. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I mean, like, okay, so what, you're going to have Ant-Man fucking shrink and go try to, and try to uh, run up Thanos' fucking, to get a gem? I thought I about mean, that yeah, when I was I sitting there, I was like, is he really, they're gonna, really going to shrink him and make him run up? Get that. What is that? A fly? Can you get, you be fast enough to get it? Giddy? I think you did, Giddy. I'm not Mr. Miyagi fast, but I'm fast. All right. Chopsticks looking at us. Run out! <laughs> right. Okay, room is clear. Bomb squad must be somewhere ahead. Hope they're okay. You guys all right? We were just about to call for backup. I think I'm it. Lead the way. We'll be right behind you. Heads up, boss. So you guys were in bed with Fisk all along? Oh, no, I'll never get that image out of my head. Take him out. So your plan didn't work. On to plan B, getting kicked in the face. Can't let him get in the office. Just shoot him already. Hey, Yuri, looks like some of your guys were on Fisk's payroll. Good news is, they were Willie's last line of defense. I'm right outside his office. Take him down, now. With pleasure. Writing your memoirs? Don't forget the hyphen between spider and man. Get the chopper ready. I won't be long. I'm surprised you made it this far. But your foolishness ends now. Uh, you do know I can still see you, right? 80 years of this insolence. Oh, for me? You shouldn't have. Gotta wait for an opening. It's reloading.
is this happening? What's wrong, Willie? You seem angry. I will destroy you! Take your best shot! Wait, wait. You know what's funny though when I thought about it this morning? I was like, oh, I wonder what he can open it. enough to be with Frank Castle. I don't think there any of the Spider-Mans they've had so far would, would meld well. They'd have to they'd literally have to find a different Spider-Man. Because right now with Tom Holland playing him as a kid. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's, he's, still, he's fucking perfect though. He is, but he's just like funny and you know what I mean? Frank Castle's not packing that shit. <laughs> yeah. He could barely stand with the the chick that was in that one. Outro. Yeah, I feel like Frank's character was too dark and too broody and too, you know, violent. There's no way Everyone that he could be able to You're gonna have a bad day. What is that? Seriously, we're watching.
kiss now? Yeah, maybe later. Finally off to Rikers, huh? You know, I think you've got more enemies in there than I do. If you think this will be more than a minor inconvenience... Whoop, gotta go. Hey, good luck, Willie. I have a feeling you're gonna need it. Idiot! I'm the one who kept order in this city! One month! In one month you wish you had me back! That's the truth. <laughs> The Kingpin is heading to prison. End of an era. I feel like I should celebrate. Maybe take a vacation. I might trade in my uh, Battlefield 5 and just add, put an add on to this thing. Just wait. Hey, you might as well wait to trade stuff in until you get uh, Mortal Kombat. Oh yeah, that is right on. Uh, I got a Fantastic Four uh, outfit. With a paper bag over my head. Basically they're trying to shit on uh, Fox. Cause Fox owns Spider-Man too. Believe it or not. That's cool. Actual comic book Spider-Man. Uh, uh, what? They got a, um, what'd you call it? Ghost Rider Spider-Man? Hmm. 